Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We've had a good amount of information now on New Babbage, the city opening up as part of 3.9 with Microtech. Obviously we've got the externals already, but now we have the internals. I wanted to combine a lot of the visuals and what we know about the city together so I could give a bit of a preview tour and talk about what the city has to offer, put it in a bit more context. And I also want to briefly talk about weapon mods that were shown in Inside Star Citizen as well. New Babbage is opening up as part of Alpha 3.9. It's the main landing zone on Microtech. It's also a major spawn point location. When visiting New Babbage, you will land at the New Babbage Interstellar Spaceport, or NBIS, which is outside the city. You'll have access to garages here as well. You can leave by foot if you want to from the spaceport, but you'll probably want to take the train. There's ship rentals and things like that around the spaceport. This is where you're going to be able to do all your ship stuff, basically, um, that involves spawning ships. There is a large atrium there that connects to the transit train. Um, system, which is similar to Art Corp system. That then takes you to the main city of New Babbage, which is around 24 kilometers away. But the train is very fast. This main train line here is called the Grand Line, and it will take you to the Commons area or Aspire Grand in addition to the spaceport. But there may be other lines opening up in the future. Let's talk about the Commons area. This is sort of like a exercise and park type area. You'll see NPCs chilling or exercising around here. There's a gym. It's all sort of like inspired by tech campuses of today. Also, there are artisanal food courts and shops here. Lots and lots of choice. We've seen Garcia's Greens, Home and Sandwiches, Elroy's Coffee, as well as Whammer's Burgers um, that we all know are on New Babbage. But it's basically an area where people might take their breaks from work. That's the sort of feeling and vibe for that area there. It's uh, somewhere you'd come during the day to exercise or, or blow off steam quickly, but then get back to work afterwards. The Commons main area also connects to two other areas, the Promenade and the Plaza. The former has a sky bridge that connects from the Commons to the Promenade. This sky bridge is positioned to sort of like be able to see this beautiful vista of Microtech. You can see all of the outside and sort of like all its majesty, what's going on there, if there's players flying around or driving around outside. The Promenade itself though is uh, a big sort of like entertainment area. There's a big climbing wall that greets you as you enter that area, but there's also things like Wally's Bar, that, which is absolutely huge bar and social area. Kind of like um, sort of Las Vegas, sort of styled clubs and pubs there, or clubs and bars there. Um, very, very cool ice sculptures, um, exotic plants, um, waterfalls. Um, also, you, around this area, you've got like high-class restaurants and these cool, amazing glass domes above you that can allow you to see out on the city or the sky above or at night, even space stations and orbits, stuff like that. It's, it is very, very cool and juxtaposed to the icy world outside. And as I said, with Wally's Bar, that's a massive location and it's going to be a social hub for players to meet with their orcs and friends. It's also likely going to be one of the places that sees Bartender NPCs get really put through their paces in the future when they're ready for prime time, enabling you to sort of like, in the future anyway, get lots of different types of drink and interact and chat to the barman. You'll be able to see NPCs doing a lot more social activities. You'll see a bit of food and some other more casual shops in the promenade area as well. Let's go back to the commons and then off from the commons to the plaza location. So the plaza is focused on shops and commerce. It's got Microtech's sort of main store, but also has elements of Silicon Valley startup companies around that area too. You're going to have lots and lots and lots of different choice, lots and lots of very high tech stores here shops, trade areas, and the, the trade development division. So you're going to see like commodity market prices and, and jobs and uh, economy information from there. You also see components on display, very clean, uh, cool looking shops. You'll be able to buy a huge range of things here. Eventually like Moby Glass variants and upgrades and things like that too are a possibility as well. There's offices um, here that are all named after the moons of Microtech as well. Um, it's sort of like you can see that it's an area like Google or Valve might have to have their employees sort of like able to play and work on campus and have all these amazing shops and, and offices there that are very high tech and cool looking, but also quite open plan to sort of like encourage people to talk and um, socialize. Uh, Aspire Grand is the other location that the train goes to from the commons area and from the uh, spaceport. This is where you have Nest Apartments, which is the lion's share of that area. 
This is sort of the player spawn and habs area. It's the um, really big building in the heart of New Babbage, the one with a hole in it. That is the apartment building. It will make for some interesting visuals with players and NPCs flying through it in the future. This area is going to be also um, the, the actual uh, Aspire Ground where you'll th see things for um, like medical facilities or a customization to your character, I would expect. So um, they sort of like seem to focus these areas on different features like commerce and shopping and then more social areas and then more character focused and spawning areas and medical stuff and that's the way they seem to, to go at least from my point of view. There are hologram guides in the spaceport and around Microtech as well that you can interact with and they will give you more information on the area and lore there and there are Elevators and all the interaction points around the cities um, are now all built with the new UIs in mind. So um, less in a thought and more actual button pressy um, use and interact and um, with the actual um, um, sort of like elevator buttons um, and uh, UIs there. There are surface exits with garages both um, in the spaceport but also around the inner city as well with them being mentioned at the Skybridge area when you're talking about the um, in a city and I really like this idea because you're going to have players and NPCs driving and flying around nearby to the city uh, and that's going to be cool because it gives those areas more sort of like life and it's like more interest there but also with new Babbage and Microtech you'll see missions connected to these areas more and more in the future and I'm very much looking forward to um, seeing the updates that we get with 3.9 with that city um, how it all ties into the game together it's uh, yeah it, it is very cool looking you better have to buy all the new sort of like Microtech gear and weather gear here um, but obviously there's going to be um, all, all armor and, and uh, clothing is going to be tied into the temperature system and it's all going to protect you to a certain degree but there's obviously more focused cold suits that you're about to buy at places like Microtech um, in the plaza there. Also in Inside Star Citizen uh, they talked about weapon attachments which are getting a bit of an overhaul in 3.9. The new building block system that they have for UIs has been used to get a quick um, at least simple at this stage weapon mod system that can be easily changed on the fly for your FPS weapons. You can use the inner thought system um, or interaction system to customize your weapon which then brings up a uh, inspect view of your weapon and then you can highlight the attachment points to then customize them. This will show all available mods you own for that slot and preview them with a quick hologram and then clicking them will immediately attach them. It's very much a work in process and it's the first stage implementation that we're seeing at the moment and we're, we're going to get in 3.9 and they're doing an art pass at the moment but they're going to make it look a lot more pretty later and this is just more of a functional design. Each attachment should be recognizable with its own unique icon in the future and they want full 3D hollow previews of each item as well. We have some new bearing hollow optics as well to put on your guns uh, so um, they are more FPS um, traditional kind of shooter type sites as well. Uh, in the future expect to see stats and more information about mod choices and changes um, that you will get from putting different mods on the weapons as well as animations of your character actually changing the mod. They want customization and inspection modes to be unified as well so you'll literally be able to look and turn your weapon, move your weapon around while modding it. More generally, we're going to see a lot of a new UIs and improvements and interactions coming to the game over the next few quarters as CIG implements the new building box improvements to all of their systems. And that's it for today. I'd love to know what you think. Microtech has quickly become one of my favourite locations and I'm very much looking forward to making it my home. What's your favourite location in game at the moment? I'm sort of curious. Are you liking the look of uh, New Babbage or is it a bit meh to you? Like, eh, well, actually I prefer Lawville or... Um, maybe Area 18. Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Every month we have a ship giveaway for Star Citizen. This month we are giving away an Anvil Arrow Light Fighter and game package with that, so you can have access to Star Citizen if you don't already. All you got to do to be in for a chance of winning that is comment on any of my videos made during the month of March. There are full details in the description below. I am a shill for a couple of companies, NordVPN and NordPass. If you are looking for a VPN or a password management system, I recommend you check them out. They've got many benefits over free services. And as I'm 
pretty security conscious. Uh, I love those kind of services. Also, there's Shadow. If you are thinking about getting a new gaming rig or upgrading your gaming PC for Star Citizen or whatever, then consider Shadow instead. It is a internet cloud-based subscription service like Stadia, like GeForce Now, but this one gives you access to a full Windows 10 environment that's fully customizable, and that is significantly better in my opinion, allowing you to do a lot more with it. Check out the links below for them or use the code BoardGamer for discount. Also, if you wish to support the channel further, there is Patreon. There's the YouTube join member button down below. That really helps. This is a community supported channel and I wouldn't be able to do what I do without the support that I get. If you want to share these videos, if you want to comment, give feedback, whatever, that is also in hugely appreciated. Thanks very much for watching, guys. You take care and I'll see you in the verse.